I was shooting him. Wow. Okay. So, in this game, we're going to be breaking down the best meta right now, which is the Milano, using it as a primary. You're going to see in this game right here, it destroys having a three-time scope on it. My buddy right there taking the, the thirst with the, with the precision. So, uh, this is just a quick gameplay talking about it. I, I saw where J-God put up the video, and I also saw where z Leonard did the same thing. Um, so... I'm just uh, just trying to make sure we get out there to as many fans as possible. I'm sure some most of you guys do watch them already, but uh, I just thought just in case I throw it out there. But what we're rocking is the Milano, and I'll be showing the class at the end of the video along with the Cold War MP5. At this, the Cold War MP5, this one specifically, the Paint Buster, is, is my all-time favorite gun. The fact that it's so fun uh, with with the paintballs. Um, it's, it's to me, it's just, is mind blowing. So, uh, and the movement having two secondaries, who'd have ever thought it's just so fast, so fast paced. Uh, it actually gets me killed a lot, uh, because how fast paced it is, but not in this game. This isn't like some super heavy duty, uh, you know, high kill game. In this particular game, I only get, uh, 12 kills, nothing crazy. Uh, so right here, we know that there's two people in here. They sniped at us as we killed the other team that was coming in. I believe that they're up here, but they're not. So that's that's obviously the downfall of having a heartbeat sensor. You don't know the elevation, but I can hear them. You know, again, going back to having that headset, giving the tips whenever I can give them a headset's key, I can hear them. I, I, I know they're below me, so I drop down and... You're going to see, like, a distance. Like, I wanted to shoot him with the paintball, and I was like, you know what? I got him right here. And, and you're not – I haven't been beat straight up with this yet. So, see what I do there? I, I down him, and I immediately get out of there so I can play it up. And I don't worry about thirsting him immediately. Oh, yeah, there's some. My teammate comes down and finishes yeah, him off. Even if I'm playing solos or low man, we're going to leave him down first. Because chances of him having self-res right now, chances of these guys having self-res, period, being in this, cooped up in this little building, slim to none. Uh, fast forwarding a little bit, we push forward, and there ends up being another team. They were camping up here. For some odd reason, they gave up high ground. I can't remember why exactly, but there's another guy that's down directly below me. I've got high ground. My buddy's down below, and I, I do try to kill him before my buddy gets downed, but he doesn't. My buddy does down the other guy, so I know that at least one of them has self-res. Since I didn't get a team wipe right there, I know that he had self-res. So I don't want to immediately run over there and pick up my buddy, but I, since I got a UAV up, I can see that I got plenty of time to pick him up. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right here. And we can see that he's running away. So we're going to push him. Um, I think he realized at this point that the gas was against him or he wanted to use the wall is cover i'm not sure what that play is i wouldn't have done that me personally i would have pushed out the back and just went more inner circle and just got out of that situation altogether look at the paintballs though look at them man that's to me that's so cool i don't know what it is but uh as i kill him i notice his teammate coming right back in and that was a fast school lock i mean that was super fast i take this route right here he's not expecting it i know these guys aren't that bad um he just watched his teammate get killed, so he knows that we're here. That truck right there stopped me from making moves when I needed to make them. I realized I needed to, to load whenever I switched to it coming down, so I go ahead and pop that reload. I figure that he's running the bank or into the house to my left. Chances are he's running the bank. Um, so when I go in here, he actually, I didn't see him right there because I was looking at the heartbeat, how it gets you killed almost all the time. He scares the crap. I almost dropped my controller. But going around... Uh, I'm going to peek him from the window. He has the exact same idea. This is not a horrible player at all. He's able to get out of that window. Me and him, me and my teammate yeah. are going to switch off right there. I'm going to go up top. Get top. And he's going to stay down low because I want to watch him in case he comes out the back. Still see him in the same spot. Gas is coming in. I'm either going to make a push to the right. 
He's sound horning because he knows that I'm there. I miss a couple of my shots and he downs me. This is where he did the right thing. I knew it. Kind of. Uh, he died anyway, so maybe thirst of me would have been the better option for him, so he at least gets the kill, but he didn't. My team gets um, my teammate gets the res. I was panicking because he thought that I was already dead and I wasn't. And this was this is a game that's just flying by. I mean, we're already down my to bad. 27 kills with the third circle closing. So this this was uh, this was a very fast dying lobby. Well, Notice I, I see the gunshots right there. I put up the marker. My teammate right notices the who they're engaging. So he's pushing them. I'm pushing this guy. He's got ghost. I'm stepping to the side as I approach him because I don't want to run up directly in the line of sight of the other person. And just look how fast it's down somebody. It is just so quick. And he takes out his teammate. Um, I'm assuming that they killed that other team. Now that I'm looking back on this, I don't know who they would have been engaging. Uh, this is towards the end of the game. 21 teams remaining, including us. This is where things get a little crazy. I got eight kills. See that guy right there? I know there's another team on the other side. That guy Man, shouldn't have parachuting in. Seeing me where I was at, he should have never even tried it to begin with. Um, but he did. And I don't notice. Look, look, it's it's just melting. Now, I didn't crack him right there or anything crazy, but. Uh, I'm the guy out. hits his shots first, oh, just wait. not good enough. Drop down, go inside, played up. I know that the top uh, the top is compromised. I want to make sure that I get everything reloaded. My buddy's pushing up towards the top because he wants to take on the other person that's in there. And I mean, the MP5 is so good up close that when you equip it with this, I, mean, I don't even know what to call it. Milano is just so good at long distance, which is just mind-blowing to me. So if you're not doing this, you are missing out on one of the funnest metas. I mean, it's not the best meta. To me, the best meta, hands down, is a DMR. My teammate getting in my way, as usual, just standing in front of me. But this thing just, like, it melts. This, this class setup specifically is just so much fun. The recoil is so non-existent. Um, right here, I'm just trying to close the doors. Teammate getting in the way again. I'm like, hey, man, back up so I can close the door. So I close the door. Somebody coming in. I can hear someone else running up. I want to make sure I get my gun reloaded. I think I saw the car pull up. I think that's what it was. Either the car pull up or I heard someone running up. Go ahead and pop this. Revive. That but uh, that ends up being the final kill. Uh, I get killed by a rocket launcher, unfortunately. So now we're going to move on to the class setup and the outro. See y'all there. Enjoyed the video. Before I close it out, let's go ahead and look at the class setup itself. Again, I'm using the Paint Buster. Um, what is it? The Paint, Bu paint Blaster Cold War MP5 uh, with a sound suppressor, 9.5 inch Ranger barrel, uh, team, I mean, Tiger Team Spotlight, the Stan Nag, Stanag, 50 round drum and the Raider stock. I mean, look at it. It's just so sexy. And then, of course, the main course is the Milano with a sound suppressor, 2.5 inch Ranger, field agent grip, Sednag 55 round drum, and the three times scope. That class setup is going to set you up for success. I guarantee it. If you enjoyed the video, I asked you, please hit the like button. It helps me out tremendously. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so if you're enjoying the videos. Check out the videos up above. We're super close to 1,000 subscribers, and I'll see you guys on the next one.